Now guys, <laughs> you know me. You know that I like to be honest with you and be frank and honest and open about all the flaws that I have. There are many flaws there. <laughs> But one of my very, it's not a flaw per se, but it's something that I am not an expert. And that is fashion and makeup. It's, it's not something, it's not my strong side, guys. I wear some clothes every once in a while and I put some makeup, uh, lipstick for the videos, but that's it. So making these videos feels kind of odd to me. I realized that a fun way of doing a what's in my suitcase was to illustrate all of the items which is insane, but I love to draw, I love to paint. You guys seem to like me drawing or watching me drawing. So here it is, what's in my suitcase. I'm going to Mexico this Saturday, which feels very odd to say. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to Mexico this Saturday. And these are a few items that I am taking with me. And this is the thing, guys. For today, I want to review three sets of markers. I want to review the Touch Pastel Set markers. I also want to try the pastel set for pro markers. And next I want to try the Cure color markers. I haven't watched videos about these markers so far, but I found them on Cold Pens and they have these markers. I'm like, why not? I want to I want to try a few of them and guys, they're amazing. Anyway, Let's go to the review. By the way, guys, I know I say this on every let's draw something video, but I'm going to put all the items and all the markers that I'm using on this video down below in case you want, you have questions or like which marker do you use or pen, etc. So don't worry, check the description box. So the review in general, guys, is that I love the pro markers. This is not news for anybody who knows me because I love the brand, uh, but it was a surprise for me because I had no idea these markers were going to be so pastel-y per se. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I did a review for the brush markers, the pastel set. Now, one of my complaints, I mean, not the complaints because the markers are great, but one of my thoughts about the markers was that the pastel set wasn't that pastel enough and i don't know if this is a problem with markers in general or with brands but for them pastels are like just soft colors and for me pastel is almost white color so for me that set of pastel was too intense now i am doing a couple of swatches so you guys know exactly what i'm talking about but the pro marker pastel set that i have right now is super super pastel which i'm very thankful for. So thank you ProMarker for <laughs> improving <laughs> the quality of your products. Something that put me off a lot when I was trying these markers is that they're not brush, they don't have a brush tip. And in the beginning I was like, mm -hmm, I don't want to use them. But then I realized that the color was very consistent and even. And that was something that I was very acceptable as Oh God, not again, acceptable. But with time and with love and a lot of patience, I realized that even though it's amazing to use brush tips in general, I don't mind to use normal tip anymore. To be honest, guys, I, I am not that much of a fan about the touch markers. Maybe because I didn't use them that much in this review. And at least the colors and the pigmentation of this set, I wasn't a huge fan. I am very into pastels, so when a brand says that the colors are pastel and they look like this, I'm like, dude, that is not that is not pastel. In my opinion, the markers are great, but they're not the colors for me. And something that I need to point out is that the this is going to be super weird, guys, but the texture of the pen, like the material of the marker itself, it's great. Last but not least, the I got guys, I love the Cura colors. I want to try more of these because the color is insane. Um, the quality is great. The color payoff, it's amazing. Like I'm, as soon as the the color dries, is very even, is pastely. It's great. The only mm, the only thing that I have with this is the 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 marker itself. It takes so much. I don't know if it's if 
this is the thing guys i don't know if it, it's, this is a problem of of me of myself but it's really hard to take the the cap off there's no way of telling which color you're using until you take the cap off all the markers look the same from the outside and it's very hard to tell which color you're using that is my only remark but quality itself the marker it's insane so guys I bet you want to see all the things that I want to take to Mexico with me. So let's jump into this. What's in my suitcase? First of all, I need all my documents. So I am taking with me my passport, my ticket, and I am taking my purse. A lot of people say purse or wallet, but it's my Matt and Nat wallet. I love this brand a lot. It's fake leather and I love everything that it's not leather. So I love this wallet a lot. I'm also taking with me my camera. You guys ask a lot about my camera. I am using the Canon LSM and I love it. I am also taking my Penguin Books tote bag. I got this as a present from the Penguin platform. They sent it to me a couple of months ago and it's my favorite tote bag. I always go out with this one and I feel like when you're going on a trip, it's amazing to have a tote bag with you. I am taking with me my makeup bag. I think I bought this makeup container on Forever 21 like a million years ago. Also, I am taking my Topshop jeans. I bought these Topshop jeans I think two years ago and they're still really good to go. Something that I'm sure you already noticed guys, but everything that is deep blue in reality is black. I am taking my gorgeous dress and it's from Lacey Oaf. Also from Lacey Oaf, I'm taking with me this gorgeous, very sailory type of top that I like a lot. I am taking lots of socks because you always need lots of socks. I am also taking with me my white Converse. I am taking with me Go Tuck Yourself t-shirt. It's one of my favorite t-shirts and I bought that on Chubby Town. It's a wonderful independent brand so go and support it because their items are insane. I, lo I love that t-shirt. I am also taking with me a very normal and casual gray crop top. There's not much to say. It's a great crop top. Crop top? Am I saying that right? I'm also taking with me my PJs. So this is my, like my summery type of PJs. Art supplies wise, I am taking my Midori and I'm also taking my pencil case and I have... Is this a problem guys? Is this an addiction? Do I have to go to the doctor? I have two pencil cases. The first one is where I take all of my pencils um, and when I take all of my pens and my eraser and the second one is a very it's a clear case where I take all of my copics with me also reading material I am taking Ali Smith how to be both can we just appreciate the cover <laughs> the cover I drew <laughs> and I'm also taking a Frida Kahlo book that my good friend Nina lent me a couple of days ago and I think it's going to be the perfect material like reading material for this 12 hour trip, yay! Also I'm taking my iPhone obviously with my headphones, classical headphones, very cheap and my iPhone charger. I'm going to take my denim jacket. I bought this denim jacket I think two years ago on ASOS and it's wonderful. It has lots of enemy pins on it that I didn't ruin because I am lazy. I am taking my old MacBook with me. That MacBook is really old guys. And I know I have to buy a new computer soon, but I love that MacBook a lot and it has a lot of feelings attached. So I'm taking that MacBook and my charger. The second jacket that I'm going to bring is a fake leather jacket that I bought a few months ago on ASOS. Skincare wise, I am going to take my toothbrush and my toothpaste. I know that it's not skincare, but just let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm also going to take all of my NB products and I'm also taking sunscreen because um, the sun is really dangerous right now and I need to take care of my skin. I'm taking this awesome party wagon t-shirt. <laughs> oh god, the story behind this t-shirt is that it was a gift for, uh, for Ed. I bought this on a vintage shop in Chile uh, many many years ago and he never wore that t-shirt so it's not mine and I love how I painted this t-shirt. I would love to have this design instead of the real one. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt and I like it so much. Next, I want to bring this 
wonderful plain gray t-shirt and I love this t-shirt a lot because every time I want to eat until I die I wear this t-shirt. It's baggy, it's perfect, you look also amazing in it so I can't, I can't complain guys. And the opposite side, I can't eat anything when I'm wearing this skirt. It's a lovely skirt but it's just in the waist so yeah, there's not much room for eating while, while you're wearing this skirt, but it's amazing. Next, I am taking my Topshop jeans as well as the other ones I bought this two years ago and they're still amazing. Guys, I can't believe we reached this point in my <laughs> YouTube career where I am drawing my underwear. And I want to take a break from the video right now, guys, to look me in the eye. And I want to let you know, guys, that I'm not going to take only one of each. Because even though I'm drawing one of each, I just want to, to let you know that. Because I know someone is going to ask that. And last but not least, I am taking with me my old, very, very old and decrepit Wacom Bamboo. This was the first Wacom that I ever, ever, ever bought, like 10 years ago, guys. Uh, but I need it because I might do some work in Mexico, like digital work, especially from the friendship book, and I need this just in case. And that's it, guys. I am really excited to go to Mexico. I am also going to do a talk in Mexico next Tuesday. Um, I am going to put the flyer and all the information down below in case you're going to be in Mexico, because why not? And I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you enjoy this new type of video and if you want me to do uh, new ones in this same format in the future, like what's in my makeup bag or what's in my bag or I don't know, I don't know. Guys. Thank you so much to all of my patrons because they are the ones allowing me to buy art supplies and giving me awesome ideas as this one. And you guys are great. No, you're great. I hope you're having an awesome day and a wonderful week and I'll see you hopefully hopefully guys next week i'm going to be in mexico and i will do my best to edit a video but let's fingers crossed there's something going on there just in case don't forget to follow me on instagram because i upload lots of instagram stories so you can see at least what i'm doing and yeah you're you you guys are great you made me so happy okay i have to go bye bye guys <laughs> god <laughs> oh man Good time.